everyone, so every year since I started my channel I've done these kinds of winter skincare videos and every year they are a little bit different but still I want to keep doing them because I'm using different products each time and I concentrate on different things each time but the general gist of it is the same because we all need a little bit more nourishment during the cooler months. So the first thing that I always notice and that I make sure I do is to amp up the hand care during the winter. My hands get very, very dry and I get very dry cuticles during the winter. So I really like to make sure I've always got hand cream and cuticle oil um, there for me. So the ones I've been using lately are the Organic Surge Lavender Meadow Hand and Nail Cream. This is really nice, it smells very lavendery and I just like to kind of put this all over my hands and really massage it in and make sure my hands are kind of nicely moisturised every night and whenever I remember. And then I've also been loving the Organic um, Nail and Cuticle Oil by Viridine. I've mentioned this loads, I've used this loads, I've kind of put a pretty big dent in it considering um, how often I use it but I apply this every time I paint my nails and really massage it into my cuticles because they get very very dry when it gets cold and I'm not one for wearing gloves so my hands are always a bit red and cold and I get kind of very chapped hands if I don't really keep the um, hand cream on all the time. Then the other thing that you want to kind of make sure you're doing is apply lip balm and kind of have a multi-purpose balm in your hand, um, in your bag at all times. And I really like this one. This is the um, Holly Beth All Over Citrus Cream. This is what it looks like. It's just an organic kind of cream and I've used this loads and I've hardly even dented it. It's so thick. You can put this on your cuticles, you can put this on your lips, you could even kind of rub it in your hands if they were feeling really, really dry. It smells lovely, very kind of fresh and lemony, but I like putting this um, on my lips and making sure my lips are moisturised because my lips get so dry during the cooler months and I tend to kind of wear darker lips as well, which, darker lips, darker lipstick, which tends to make my lips get a little bit dry too. Then in terms of skincare, I really change up what I'm doing during the winter months because my skin gets drier and it gets very dull and I think it's very important to also not forget that just because it's cold outside you don't wear SPF anymore. Wearing SPF is important all year round. You don't have to wear a factor 30 like you would in the summer but wearing an SPF daily is super super important. The one I've been using at the moment is the Emmy Skin Shield Daily Moisturiser with SPF 15. This has got UVA and UVB protection. Make sure you check that um, when you're buying an SPF but this is a great budget option. SPF 15 great for kind of daily use or on a day like today where it's very very dark and kind of horrible outside. This is all you need and it's kind of got little shimmer particles in it which liven your skin up as well. But I've also been testing out the ARC Anti-Aging Skin Protector SPF 30 Primer. This is obviously more expensive but um, I do really like this so far so I've been chopping and changing between the two of those. Really really like this. Then I've also changed up my cleansing routine um, a little bit. I try and not use the Clarisonic as often. I'm going to do a full skincare routine soon, but I have made sure that I um, use a cleansing balm more often. The two I've been using are the uh, Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm, which looks like this, and the Boots Botanics Organic Cleansing Balm. This is the old version in the old packaging, but um, both of these really great and my skin works really well with cleansing balms. It seems to just really agree with my skin So I really enjoy using these types of products. It just very it just um, Helps to kind of replenish them and doesn't strip them of moisture when they're feeling a bit dry and upset anyway so that's um, skincare and I've also invested in this little tool from the body shop and this is a little facial massager that you just kind of massage all over your face and it helps to kind of increase your um, blood flow and kind of just livens your skin up a bit and I've been using this every night and I found it really really helps. I've just been kind of brushing it all over my skin and smoothing it all over and it's really made my skin feel much more even and um, got rid of any kind of congestion I had on my chin so I really like this and I think it's only something like £6 very very affordable then um, I've also made I also make sure that I don't neglect my feet because during the winter months we're always wearing boots and socks and it's very easy to just forget about your feet you don't see them it's not like you're kind of wearing flip-flops and sandals and you need to make them look pretty but it is important to still take care of them you still want to kind of have nice groomed feet 
So I make sure that a couple of times a week I use the Ancient Foot Scrub by Think Great. This is what it looks like. And I'll just kind of massage this all over my feet, really give them a good um, massage and it helps to kind of rejuvenate them and make them feel less tired and just make them feel a bit healthier again. And then every night I've been smothering my feet in the Soap and Glory Heal Genius Foot Cream. This is amazing. I love this. I mentioned this in my favourites um, last month and I just think this is so, so, so nice great great product and I've been wearing this on my feet every single night love it so that's um, foot care and then I also try and make sure that with my body I use something a bit more moisturizing so I've been going for the body shop um, sheer butter body butter I've been using this for a while it was part of a Christmas kit but I really really love this I love how it smells as well it's so comforting but my skin gets really dry especially on my shins so I like to kind of use oh, I dropped something I like to use a nice um, moisturiser all over my body to make sure my skin's really nicely hydrated. And I haven't been using self tanner lately either, just because I haven't been feeling like it, and also because I know that I'm going away um, in a couple of weeks and that I'll be using self tanner when I'm away and stuff like that because it'll be warm and it'll make me just feel better. So I haven't been, I've been kind of embracing the paleness a little bit, and I like it sometimes. It's nice to do that sometimes, but um, I definitely do like to be bronzed even in the winter as well. The other thing that I always make sure I do is I know a lot of women like to kind of just neglect the hair removal thing in the winter and that's fine if that's what you like but I just feel like I still like to kind of be nice and smooth even if I'm totally covered up. I've got a friend that says that as soon as it starts getting cold she just stops shaving her legs until spring. I couldn't do that, it would drive me insane. So I always um, go back to epilating. I kind of alternate between epilating and shaving my legs. Um, I don't like shaving my legs but I will do it sometimes just because of the quick um, the quickness of, of it and the kind of totally smooth finish it gives and hair removal is the bane of my life I struggle with it so much and I have to do it so much and it sucks so I make sure that I kind of epilate during the winter because your skin's not out as much and it's better and it'll help it last longer as well um, in between sessions so that's really great but those are my tips for keeping your skin looking nice during the winter time and feeling healthy. Let me know what yours are. I like to kind of always apply something nice in the bath as well and have kind of nice luxurious evenings in the winter time. So that's something really um, lovely. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next video.